Hi, this is Brantley, and today we're going to be talking more about how to give a great presentation. Today we're going to look at three questions that you should think about when you're pre-planning. But before we get to those questions, I would like to talk about topic selection. I have two very simple things that I want to look at for topic selection. Topics should always be interesting. Always make sure that you find a way to find interest in your topic. If you can't find interest in your topic, your audience will not be interested in your topic. Also make sure that your topic is limited by time. If you have a five minute presentation, make sure that you can cover your topic completely in five minutes. Do not try to put 20 minutes of information into a five minute presentation. Very often, presenters try to do too much in a short, limited amount of time. Make sure you cover your topic completely in the time that you have. All right, let's move on to our three questions that we're going to cover in this section. We're not going to talk about how to choose your topic here today, so if you do need help choosing your topic, you're going to need to find somewhere else to do that. That is an important part of pre-planning, but that's not our scope today. We do want to talk about three questions, and the first question here today is, who is your audience? If you can answer this question, it will help you to prepare for your presentation. Always make sure that your presentation is for a specific audience. Who is your audience? How much do they know about your topic? What is their age? Uh, what is their education? What is their background? For our second question, we want to say, what's the purpose of your presentation? Is it to inform? If your presentation is to inform, we're going to look at facts, descriptions. Our structure is going to be chronological order, spatial order. Uh, do we want to instruct our audience? If we're instructing our audience, we're going to look at steps, how to. Uh, when we're instructing our audience, we're going to do this in chronological order. So first, do this. Second, do this. Uh, this is something like a recipe. Uh, it's telling someone how to make an art project. If we want to persuade someone how to think or uh, what they should do, then we're going to look at supported opinion. Uh, with supported opinion, we want to look at the order of importance. Uh, in uh, English presentations with order of importance, we always want to save the most important point for last. Okay. We also want to ask the question, what is the mood of your presentation? For mood, our mood can be serious or it can be humorous. Our mood can be formal or it can be informal. We always want to consider our mood before we uh, plan our presentation. Make sure that we're not changing moods uh, during our presentation, that we are targeting our mood for our, uh, for our audience. Okay, so uh, before you begin, before you begin your presentation, before you begin planning, make sure you consider these topics. Who is your audience? What do they know? What is their age, sex, educational level, etc.? Number two, what is the purpose of your presentation? Is it an informative presentation? Are you presenting new information? Is it an instructional presentation? Will you present how to do something? Is it a persuasive presentation? Will you present a supported opinion? I do note that there are other purposes. These are just three examples. Uh, number three, what's the tone of your presentation? Is it serious or humorous? Is it formal or informal? In our next presentation, we're going to start to look at structure. Uh, thank you very much.